Elementor 3.7 is out, and it includes updates that will help you streamline your workflow, customize your designs even further, as well as personalize your editing environment, so you can focus on what you do best. Starting with the possibility to localize your editing environment. Up until now, your WordPress and Elementor environment would adopt your website's language. For example, if you were building a website in French, the Elementor editor would be in French as well. With this update, you can have your editing environment in English, but your website will remain French. The Elementor editor will now adopt the language set in your user settings, enabling multiple users to work on the same site in their own language. Left to right, right to left, the editor changes, but the site remains the same. In addition, when setting Elementor to a language that is different from your site's language, placeholder text in the widgets will still be in your website's language. This adds context and spatial reference as you work. How cool is that? Elementor 3.7 also brings a function you may be familiar with from various design software, the number scrubber. Now, anytime you want to change numeric values in the editor, you can use the number scrubber to improve your workflow and gain more control. It can be accessed by long clicking the number field itself with your mouse, or by hovering over the number field labels. Once you see the object resizing cursor, you can drag your mouse to the left or right to change the value. For more precision, you can increase or decrease the value by increments of one by holding down the Alt key on PC or Option on your Mac, and by increments of 10 with Control on PC and Command on a Mac. Another update included in this release is the ability to define which WordPress screen you exit to from the editor. The first time you try exiting the editor, a pop-up will appear asking you to set your new default location. Choosing WordPress dashboard will take you to the generic WordPress dashboard. All posts will take you to the list of posts or pages, products and side parts you're working on. And choosing this post will take you to the WordPress editing side of what you're working on. You can always update this at any time from your user preferences. Last on the list, Elementor 3.7 also includes an additional customization option. With this update, you are no longer restricted to the default icons in the video, image carousel and alert widgets. Instead, you can choose icons from the icon library or upload your own. Fancy placing your logo on the video overlay to increase brand awareness? No problem. Go ahead and upload your logo instead of the default play icon. And voila! And that's it. We'd love to read your thoughts in the comments and hear about your impressions of these updates. And most of all, enjoy being creative. This is Ziv signing off. Ciao for now.